researcher, I research theology. But how long do you want to research history, <laughs> theology, and the plagiaristics? Well, up, Peter! Oh, okay. <laughs> If that guy give you trouble, so that guy. And even so that guy. And you, hey. Just Oh. What are you doing in my house this Sunday afternoon with your house? How dare you barge into my house in that manner? Um, Paul, what is it? As you can see, my husband and I just got back from church. Hey, Clara, stay out of this. It has nothing to do with you. No, you would not shut me up in my own house. Whatever made you barge into my husband's house can't be resolved. Like I said, stay out of this. Oh, my God, my God, just come back from church. Now, now, what I do now? What do you this one? What do I do? So, you ask us what do you want? No, Mugu, you're not gonna shut up. You want me to amend you? You're not gonna mend you where now your eyes open. Peter, did you write any letter to the land's office? Yes, I did. Any problem with that? Why? What for? What did you hope to achieve with that letter? Listen, Paul, you have practically sold every single land our father left for us before he died. That land is about the only land left you haven't sold. Why do you want to sell all these things without even consulting me? Must be out of your senses that I should tell you before I sell my land, is that it? You have benefited from every land you have sold. You have kept everything to yourself. I've been quiet. But you see this particular land, I will not let you. Then be ready to die because you're digging your own grave. Oh, Paul. <laughs> Paul the Enigma, that's what they call you, right? You're just blabbing. Me. I am blabbing. I have written to the lands and I have told them that that land is not for sale. Whoever goes ahead to buy it does that at their own peril and I will follow it till the last court. Peter, Mr. Lecturer, do not dabble into things you do not know. Anything I have mapped out for sale must be sold. <laughs> is that what you think? It is not what I think, it is what I know. You see that land? It must be sold. So you had better go back and withdraw that letter from the lands or face my wrath. Okay then, whatever it is you want to bring, bring it on. If you fail to listen to me, Peter, Peter, if you fail to listen my basse, I will do the unthinkable. Now get out of my house before I do something I'll regret. Paul is biting more than he can chew. Imagine coming to my house to threaten me. Uh -huh. My love, this is more than a threat. You know who your brother is. If he says he is going to kill, he is actually going to kill. Uh -huh. What are you implying, babes? That I let Paul sell the only piece of land remaining after he has sold all the acres of land our father left behind? I am saying you should let the land go. Just let him have the piece of land and remain alive for me. Never. Paul cannot do anything to me. Huh. He's my blood, my brother. Yes, he is your twin. But be careful of what he has become. I am begging you, just let him have the land. Never. Even our late father will turn in his grave if I allow this mistake to continue one more time. At the risk of losing your own life? What? Can you just stop this, please? I will not let Paul sell that land. Ha! He has sold every other land. And what does he do with the money? Go to hotels and sleep with prostitutes. My love, I am too scared. I don't want to lose you. Nothing is going to happen to me, baby, okay? 
Okay. I'm famished. Please get me some food. Promise me you will withdraw that later. That land is not worth dying for. Please, babe. Can I eat my food in peace? But what is Paul's problem? Why can't that guy be reasonable for once? Why would a graduate be acting like an illiterate? What's his problem? Paul went to school but never allowed education pass through him. That's why he ended up an Agbero, even when he holds a law degree and was called to bar. This is just very disturbing. A law degree holder, behaving like an Agbero. Why? They are in every profession, not just a law profession. Even in your medical field, you find people behaving that way. Let's just eat. There's a way I'm wired. Anything I have mapped out for sale, he's sold already. Well done, I feel you, boss. Honestly, boss, your brother is right. You have practically sold all your family land without him benefiting from any. I know, I don't understand you. Now your land. Now your family land. Your papa get land. Don't say in woman who sell the land. Now you want. Um, um, if you ask me, I would suggest we should leave that particular piece of land and move around the town and check if we can see other lands. Even if it means for us to resell the one that we have already sold, that the owners are here to develop. And you really, as a matter of fact, there is one land sold to one Mr. Ugochugu that is here to develop anything on the land. We can go and resell the land and uh, could go from there. See, Mama, I'll tell you something. Since why I know you now, today you suggest something will make sense. Mm -hmm. It's a big good idea with that. Okay. Boss, we reason now. All those people will never they do anything for their land. No, we sell them. All those ones who don't say, you get lands who even don't say like two years ago, they never do anything. No, if we just start to do. I don't understand. Chima, mm -hmm. are you suggesting we should go and resell or go ghost land? See, make I tell you something. I, I won't I borrow money on the way. You see that that those lands, the main aim is to cash in and cash out. Exactly. Smile to the bank. Well, no, 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 stop talking like this. You know what? Guys, we're going to resell those lands. Confirm. Yes. And we are starting with Ugochuku's land since he doesn't have money to develop it yet. Confirm. Follow the enigma. Follow the enigma. Correct. <laughs> Boss, I don't support this one. In fact, I'm not part of all this illegal business. How can we be selling and reselling people's land? It's like a business now. I can't be trying to open it when I eat it. You see, I'm, I'm always warning you. I will not regain conscience. Shut up. I will not regain conscience. Shut up. You won't go to sell land. You sell land, sir. Okay, I'm going to sell land now. Are you happy like this? Now you go sign the document. Now you be chairman. We go sign it. Chima calls him boss, but he is such a bad influence. I will not allow Paul kill himself. I won't allow him kill himself out of foolishness and stupidity. How could you be suggesting to Ogapolu that we should sell off Ogugo's land? 
Where is your conscience? Eh? Nah, this this guy self, eh? you, you 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 just want to spoil my mood. Just give them a general mood now. Nah, go go be thinking, man. I have told you that with that number. Nah nah. I will no let go get conscience, guy. Anything won't be above. You need to be very very heartless, ruthless. Now what do you no. get, man? What are you saying? Aburo has no conscience. Is Aburo not the same human being? God created us as a human being. Chema, where is your conscience? How will you be suggesting we sell off a fellow man? The man paid us money and you want us to sell off his land. Okay. Chema, where is your conscience? You don't do. You don't, Spider, do. Even you. you don't do. I don't get my conscience. Uh, uh, no worry. I don't get him. Uh, mm. I've been forget him, but uh, I don't get him. Uh, Two things yourself. Mm. No fine buyer. Mm. You said your good rules. Like. Yes. Make him come over. Yes, we know we'll give him anything. Mm -hmm. So, we we'll go find buyer. No help us find we'll buyer. We we'll go find buyer. We we'll go sell the land. Just come over. Come over, we know we'll give you anything. We know we'll give you anything. Before we go, we we'll go. Just come over, we know we'll give you anything. Hey, we're conscious. Wait, Chima, Chima, the truth be told, eh? Why are you standing here staring at me? Yeah, if you have anything to say, just say it. Oh, you can't turn against your brother. You cannot. There are brothers who are worse than enemies. And there are strangers who are brothers. Professor Peter has made himself my enemy. And I will offer him. How you cannot be in enmity with your blood brother, your twin brother? Oh, being... you don't know me. You don't know me. I am Paul the Enigma. I will off him and damn the consequences. You can't be fighting with your own identical twin brother when you two can come together. <clears throat> Do you know that you two can fight the common enemy no, when you're no, together? No, 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 no. Lecturer Professor Peter is the only enemy I have now. Really? You think so? So you believe Peter is the only enemy you have? Hell no, Peter isn't. You see that Chima and Spider? They are your worst enemies. And I don't want to believe you, you, you are going to accept what is suggested. You cannot be fighting your brother over a piece of land. Nobody does that. Yeah, and no. Listen to me, oh. The fact that you're living with me in this house does not give you the right to keep poking your nose in my family affairs. Watch it. You're just the direct opposite of your brother. Mrs. Gloria, yeah, I'm here. How are you? I'm fine. You're and welcome. how is business? Very well, sir. You can see. You can see. I was just driving past your neighborhood and I thought to myself, why don't you come and check up on for my yeah. sister Gloria? <laughs> thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. I hope all is going well. Yes. And the family? We thank God, sir. Very well, then. I'll be on my way. Thank you so much. You have a nice day. And you too, I appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye. I have a lecture with master's degree students tomorrow, so I'm back home to put finishing touches on my lecture notes. Um, like I said earlier, I am already back home. 
and it is not in my nature to leave the house when I'm back. Okay then, find a way around it. If you need additional information, do not hesitate to let me know. Alright, thank you. Bye. Hi, babes. Hey. Why is your face like this? Is anything matter? I sent you a voice note. I wanted you to tell me when you'll be on your way back so I could make you dinner. What happened? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I haven't been on WhatsApp all day. I've been very busy. In fact, I went to check up on Thomas's Gloria to see how she's faring. Not to worry. Come, let's go into the kitchen and cook together. Mm -hmm. What? Which kitchen? <laughs> Please, just go upstairs and freshen up. I'll make you dinner, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Look at you. Most women would want a husband who would go into the kitchen and cook with them. Why are you different? Well, let's say I have um, a very hard-working husband. And I have decided to compliment him by serving him. And I have decided to compliment my wife by serving her. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> love you. I love you more. <laughs> That's it. I'll make you dinner. All right. I started already. Let me freshen up here. Yeah? All right, honey. Okay. Mm. Oh I hope you had a nice day. Yeah, I had to go. Yes. Collect for the full load. Make sure you collect that money. You. Don't let them leave that back. Don't, what are you telling me? You will not come here and tell me in this story. You. I, I'll blow your teeth. You know what, sir? What is good about the afternoon, Timothy? Sir, what did I do again? What did you do again? Have you returned your loading money for today and yesterday? Look at the time you are coming to the office. Sorry, sir. The matter is that I'm here now. You are here now? Yes, sir. Okay. What did you call it? Where's the money? Sir. Sir, the thing we say, um. I could go put you <laughs> oh, I can see you're busy with um, your lectures plan. Mm. Getting ready for work tomorrow, I see. Yeah, I'm trying to draft out the outline so it's easier for me. Okay. Mm. All right, while you're at it, I'll be back in the kitchen. Not today. so fast. Is something wrong? Mm. Okay, what exactly are you doing? No, Wait. no, no. <laughs> no. Baby, stop. Listen, there's never a moment. <laughs> stop, 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 stop! Wait, no, no, no! Wait. I have something in the fire. I need to open the check it. I... Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> Continue with your work, I'm telling you this. Alright, babe. Paying all the dues, settling the police and abroads on the road. We drivers go home with, uh, with little or nothing. All through yesterday, I was at the mechanic. I spent all the money I made last week buying spare parts and repairing my boss. Same old story, boss. I'm tired of everything. I'm just tired. 
shirt. You are saying you are tired. But let me tell you, the reason why I'm drinking with you guys here is simply that I want to drink away my sorrows. Listen, guys. Don't tell me you all are planning to quit driving, thereby limiting my scope of income. Ogapo, oh, you don't understand what we drivers go through on a daily basis. Eh? You can't survive without the money we pay you. Eh? Listen, guys. New York City in America is where we have the highest number of millionaires. And guess what? All of those millionaires were made on the streets. I want to tell you that there is so much money on the streets. Huh? Mm. And I'm going to teach you how to grab it. Hey, hey! Polo Hi! Baby. Yes, my love. Have you heard from your brother Paul? No. Is this something you both are not telling us? I don't understand. What are you driving at? <laughs> In a clear language, you two don't, you don't act like you're twin. I can't remember any time you guys have met without having a fight. I and mean, it just ends up in a serious fight, even fist cuts. Maybe it's not my fault. It's Paul you should be talking to. He's a difficult one. I don't understand what that means. Babes, please. I don't understand what you mean. I hold nothing against him. He's the one who doesn't just want my association. Okay. Can you at least try one more time to, to reconcile with him? Babes. He's your brother. Babes, why do you always raise his issue each time you serve a very delicious meal? Can you allow me to concentrate and enjoy this food, please? See, that my brother told you about. He promised to give me a huge amount of money to start a business. Set up a very big business. But up till now, I've not heard from him. See, anybody hoping on all these big men to fulfill their promise is making a hell of a mistake. They make empty promises. The worst part of it is that he doesn't even take my call. He doesn't take my call. Those rich brothers, they will never help. That is why I don't go to anybody for help. That's the reason. You see, Fred is my immediate younger brother. Can you believe that? When he's August settling with a chicken change, I gave him a huge amount of money to add up so that he would set up a business. Oh, really? Now listen, these people, we are talking about the heart, have their heart and back. Obi Abo. Hey, I'm going to be in the house. Obi Abo. No, he's living in the Obi Abo. Obi Abo. Obi Abo. He's living in the big castle in Lagos. He doesn't even remember his own brother. Yeah. His own senior brother. He can't even talk to him. Family for that matter. Oh, Lord. How the terrible. My love. All I'm saying is that twins should have one thing in common. One mindset. Why is it different with you two? Paul is one hell of a human. How am I supposed to share the same mindset with someone who has a degree in law but has refused to practice for a day? Instead, he opts to become an Agberu, collecting levies and tickets from motorists and even aiding them in crime. And you're saying something is not wrong? Nothing is wrong. 
He knows exactly what he's doing. Paul will not call you on phone, no. But you pick your phone and call him, he hears your voice, he drops the call. Exactly why I am saying that there is something wrong somewhere. I am telling you now, my phone, eh, meh. This is a guy that is just not consistent. You call him with this number today, tomorrow he changes to another number. As I'm speaking with you now, I don't even know what number he uses. Exactly what I'm saying. This has got to be some sort of problem. All I'm asking is that we look for a solution. Let's, let's just try to solve this. It won't take anything from us. Can we remove our mind from Paul and focus on our family? He doesn't want to associate with us. It's obvious. Why would you want me to reconcile with someone who doesn't want reconciliation? The other day, my wife called my brother on the phone and told my brother that we are starving. Can you believe what my brother said? Tell my wife. What did he say? Fred told my wife that we should sort ourselves out, that we are lazy. Oh. Oh. That we should sort ourselves out. Oh. That we, are, we should be ashamed of ourselves for calling him to give us money to feed oh. my family. Just imagine. Wait, 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 wait. You mean your brother? Your blood brother? My junior brother. That's what he told my wife. And ever since then, I trust my wife. He discommunicated completely from my brother. Without even sending him again. We don't even pick him call. I trust my wife. He doesn't pick his call anymore. Your wife is a wise woman. Oh my head. You see, one thing with all these family members, they want only themselves to be rich. And they want to be worshipped. Just imagine. And the worst is that he claimed to be religious. He carried religion for heads. That is wickedness. You want to be close to God, but you're not even close to your own family. It's evil. It's wickedness. Listen. Claiming to be spiritual or born again. It's not a yastic. To measure who is godly or not. Exactly. In, in most cases, you find out that ordinary people, they live better life than the so-called spiritual people. Yes, man. Those ones, they were fake. They were just very fake. Internally wicked. Is there no way you can make your brother understand that one is nothing without family? Wait, you. Why are you bothered about this guy? Honey, I need to be bothered. I am your wife. I am married to your family. A family that is fractured to the extent that two brothers, I mean, twin brothers cannot even do anything together. Does that make sense to you? The joke is on Paul, not on me. I have tried my best. If he wants us to become family again, my arms are open. Okay, can you at least call him tonight? It's like you're not listening to what I'm saying. I am listening to everything you are saying. I heard everything you said. I know you're saying you don't have his number. But he called you the last time. I'm certain he hasn't changed that line. Why don't you just call him? He might be willing to talk as family this time. I am not calling him. Except you're doing that on your own. Have I not tried my best? Have I not done everything I could to show him that I love him like a brother? Each time I keep meeting a brick wall. I know you have tried. But you will keep trying. Don't quit. Please. I've had it up to here. This time around, I am not trying again. If he wants reconciliation, he should be the one to reach out this time. If two wrongs can't make a right. Please. You see this thing you're discussing now? It is the reason why I cut all ties with family. Let me make this known to you guys today. I have an identical twin brother who lives in this town. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a university lecturer and a pharmacist. But we don't roll because he's a very nasty creature. Each time I call him on phone, he goes like, hello, who, who is this? Can you imagine that? That is the way they behave. Very annoying. Hey. Peter is too small to annoy me. 
In fact, I don't want to have anything to do with him again. Yes. Do you know I studied law? Labor law. I just did not practice and one thing led to another, I found myself here. I don't Wait. believe this. Wait, Polo. Are you truly a lawyer? Or someone told me that you're a lawyer, but I didn't believe it. Not just a lawyer. I was the best in my class. There is something I want all of you to know. There is something spectacular about Ogapolo. His good command of English language is out of this world. Hello? Hey, what is it? I haven't heard from you in a while, so I, I thought, why don't I talk to my brother? Check up on me as what? Paul, it's your brother, your twin brother, Peter. I just want to know how you're doing. My twin brother, so what? What can, what can I do for you? Uh -uh. Oga Polo. Uh -uh. That's your brother now. Your brother called you and you couldn't discuss with him. I am Paul the Enigma and I don't take shit from anybody. He hung up? No, he called back. Paul the Enigma. Cutting phone on your brother is not right. Eh? Let us tell ourselves the home truth. And it is good to tell ourselves the truth than telling ourselves sweet lies. That's exactly my point. Ebia, you know, there's a reason I don't want to dabble into this. No one knows what's transpired between you and your brother. I think you're the only one who reasons like a human being here. Happened to Allah. Well, anyway, what do you expect? They are old men, old men with wives. That guy, Peter, that calls himself my twin brother is the biggest fool that walked the surface of this earth. He thinks he's smart. He's a lecturer, the corporate one. But I am the man on the streets. We are like two parallel lines that will never meet. I disagree with you, sir. You guys, you sort yourself out. It's your brother. At least a brother call you on phone. To try to talk to him and hear him out. Oh! Listen to your brother, know what you have to say. Okay, shut up. Shut up and go back to your wife. You're a common driver. <laughs> Driving a car that I signed and guaranteed before it was given to you. Oh, because it's not, you, got, you signed a guarantee for me. I should not tell you the truth, eh? To hell with your truth. If you do not shut up your mouth now, I will call the police to arrest you. Hey! Arrest not just that, charge you to court and detain you. To arrest me for telling you the truth. For telling you the truth, bro. Charge me for what? Uh -uh. You never reach to that now. Uh -uh. Bro, shit. This thing never reached to that. You will, you will lock him up. This meeting has ended. And I'm not paying for this drink. No, 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 Oh, bro, I ain't with you. You are one of your pieces. Thank you. I don't say one day away. Uh, give me some. You know, you know, you know, say one day away. No one give me some. Thank you. 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 That uh, washing and setting, I beg. I beg. Eh. That one where you give me that shit. That one punch me. The one where you give me now, now. One, 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 one. I shall work. I don't know what I did. I don't give me this. Uh, uh, oh, guy, you don't go. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see me now. Oh, you don't give me all this. 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 Make something for me, leave this man. Yes. Nah, I'm a married man. Ah. I don't want poor Joe 
Put up for take away. No use all this their cigar cup or give me. No, it's not question. Just, just tell me. Hey, you know what I mean? I'm okay, gonna have a good drink. Uh, if, if you get now, okay. if I don't oh. eh, put them for the half for here now. Mmm. Yeah. 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 But it's gonna have a drink now. Oh, I'm not putting cup now. Okay, finish up. Oh, I can finish this thing. Why they do that? Finish this thing, my friend. Is that why somebody join us? Drink or two with a mega mega this. Mega mega this. Is that why somebody drink my water with a mega? Guys, show to the shop. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just pay count the money. You know how much we they give for ourselves? You know how much we they give for the enigma? No matter now, if you got this money, go and fish now. You go do justice to it. Don't give us change. Bamba. You know, say, Polo, they very wicked. Polo, they very, very heartless. You see that guy? A very greedy human being. That guy know the only reason say we will get our own personal responsibility. The way he get. See, eh? I must keep something for myself. You guys know I have a pregnant wife to take care of. Do you know that sometimes, eh, the way my wife crave for things, eh, baffles me. Onyinye will tell me that she wants a, a, a pap with liquid milk. I will run around to get the exact thing he wants, she wants. The next thing I will hear, I don't want pap and liquid milk again. What I want is a, is a pounded yam with a, with a leaf soup. The thing is too confusing. Shut up, oh. Which one be ma ma married, married, married uh, 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 pregnant wife again? Where you there, Mariam? Again, where you just give belay, he comes stay with you. Now you there, and I don't claim to be married. For where you there, Mariam? He don't the girl and wife. He don't the girl and wife. Don't the girl and wife. Yeah. To God, who made me and you? Chima, the kind of thunder that will fire you is still warming up. I'm telling you the truth. Why is that any time I'm talking about Oyinye, your body will be pepper you? I beg, you don't do it, don't do it. Me will, me will count this money, you know what you do. You don't do it. It's not my Oyinye. You don't do it now, I beg. Ah. Bring, uh, search yourself. Bring, 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 bring the remaining. Spider, do you know that this boy has no sense? Yes. You don't have anything of sense. What do you do? Which aboro get sense? Ask Sam. You don't see any aboro person who get sense before. Abobi, I don't get sense. Now to collect money, now I know. Okay, search yourself. I beg. Where can this do this country? Okay, okay, bring, if you want come money, come money. I beg. I don't obtain myself. That's why I show you. Okay, I can't search yourself. You never give your money. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I know. I know. You want to do that? I can't give you all the money. You should do anyhow. Why are they going to come? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, how are you guys doing? Yes, yes, yes. I know, okay, we have to search me. Search me. Come on, come on. 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 Give it to me, hard girl. Ah. Ah. Yes, I need it. Ah. It's half past 10 p.m. and he's not back yet. What responsible man leaves the house early in the morning and comes back this time? All he does is leave the house in the morning and come back late at night. His rascality is what I cannot take anymore. I can't... My sanity is going up. I can't take this anymore. What is this? And when he comes back, he will, he will find a way to lie about it. I can't do this again. I can't. 
can't take this again. What is this? Eh? Mm, you girls are fantastic in this. Mm -hmm. mm. I can say that again. Mm. I told you we are good in what we do. I have seen for myself. You can call us when we need a good quality one time. I like the way you describe it. Good quality rundown. <laughs> you know, if it were other classless ladies, they would call it sex. Ladies of class do not speak like that. So give me your phone so we save our number. Um, that would not be necessary. <sighs> but why? Paul the Enigma is really an enigma by all definitions. He does not repeat girls. <sighs> but we are good. And you saw it with your eyes. Yes. So it should be nice if you give me your phone so we save our numbers. <laughs> like I said earlier, no. <laughs> if I need girls like you, I know where to get them. Okay, babes. <laughs> Make me they go. Ah, go. Ah, boy, it should be daybreak now. Begin. Who are you to think I would waste my time spending the whole night with you? I'm done with you. His breath is something else. Gosh, he has this breath that stinks like I can all through. I almost threw you up. My sister, what we the Ashawa go through in the hands of men is terrible. We sleep with different kinds of men in the streets just for money. Even the one that has dangerous body and mouth odor, skin rashes, even rashes in the private parts. Even with that one, with that his bad breath, I, I don't understand. Who does he think he is? My sister, you are just an ordinary Ashawi. So you have to deal with his shit. I hate his arrogance, honestly. My sister, you are confusing me. What is eating you up? The poor guy said he doesn't repeat girls. So you should respect his opinion. Better be your own self. I never leave him. No, wait to say I never leave him. I beg you. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, they won't complain. Eh? Yeah? See, I beg. Let me just go and look for customers since you know great to do their big. Oh, I don't know why you are here complaining or. Hold it. No more in your way. Sign me. I shall walk. I shall walk. Good evening. I'm not fine. Paul, where are you? talking a very heavy traffic. I'm sorry. Um, traffic again? Yes. And the funny part is that when I left the traffic, I realized it was nothing serious. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Heavy traffic indeed. Um, your food is in the flats. Oh. Okay, thank you. 
I'll just freshen up after. me for this one. It's like no end at all. I see no reason you're doing what you're doing to me, Paul. What you see outside, don't I have it? Rather than sleep with me, you spend all your time with those girls outside your home. Why, why, do, you, why do you derive joy making me feel sad, Paul? <gasps> Don't, don't try it. Don't touch me, please. You know my color, baby. You know. Paul, who does it better than me? Nobody. I swear to God, you know, you know nobody does it better than you. I'm sorry, it won't repeat itself again. Exactly what you said two nights ago. This is what you said two nights ago and you're doing it already. I promise you, this time I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You know now. Now lay you now. Eh? Hey, no, my God. <laughs> leave you are going. Where will I leave you? <laughs> I'm coming, let me shower. So <laughs> hey, no, baby. <laughs> right? For real? Yeah. <laughs> but that's not true. I just stated the obvious. Anyways, you cannot go to class on an empty stomach, so uh, I need you something really nice. Sit down. Honey, this is what I've done all over the years. You know that? Don't tell me you're not having this meal. I woke up quite early to make this, considering that I have an early morning call. You're not rejecting my food. Sit down. Sweetheart, listen. You of all people know how I love to eat your meal. But please, for today, I need to rush off. I don't want my students waiting, okay? But I promise you, as soon as I'm back, I'll do justice to your food. Stop doing that. It's not funny. Trust me. Stop, stop. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, mm, you have a nice day. And you too, babe. Okay. Thank you to the car. All right, babe. Um, Mind you, when I'm back, I need to I'd like for us to back to that uh, I'm sure you won't be home by the time I'm back. Definitely. From the calls I got, I have a lot of patients to attend to. So, I might not come back home. You don't need to tell me how you're healthy, remember? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> 
the third you have me again. And you too. Be a good girl at work. I've always been a good girl. Stop. I trust. Sometimes. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. <laughs> Yeah. All right, take care of you. Okay? All right, you bye too, bye. darling. Have a nice day. Call me when you can. Definitely, I will. Send me a message when you can. Rocky. Call me again. That was a joke. <laughs> Have a nice day, darling. What are you doing for? As if you don't know what I am doing. I am refilling my holy water. Baby, why are you calling it that? This, this is a gene from, from Bielsa. An illicit gene that the government has banned already. So why are you killing yourself by drinking it? Huh? You see, you know, most times I wonder why you have refused to emancipate yourself from mental slavery. This Kai Kai that our forefathers drank and it sustained them all their life. They lived even up to a hundred and above. Is what you are calling illicit. To fear wage. Why would you say that? Uh, why would you say to fear kwage? Tell me the reason a young man like you will be consuming Kai Kai. I drink it because I like it. And I like it because it is natural. Not like all this, all these chemicals you people are consuming in the name of foreign drinks. I don't care how you put it or how you're trying to present this. This is ethanol. And there's no way you, you, you'll be gulping down ethanol and be expected to, to act normal. Hey, 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 hey. You are beginning to insult me. Okay? If you do not like my drink and the way I live my life, you're free to take a leave. Really? Yes. Paul, oh. has it gotten to the point you asked me to leave your house? Seriously? Okay. Very well then. No problem. I will not just leave your house, but I will leave your life too. Enough. 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 You know, you know I'm a street guy 100%. I say nasty things all the time. Please. Okay. Then watch me do it. Please, Eno, please don't go. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Really? That is the more reason you should work on your temperament. Because it is destroying you and you don't know. Please, please, please stay. Please, please. Stay now. Paul, oh, I will give you a piece of my mind. Not because I want to, but because I don't want you to have anyone you keep insulting. Leave me. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. See, see, see. I'm sorry. <coughs> You're still on this? Yes, I'm Babe. Yes, honey? There is something I've been meaning to tell you. What's that? A certain man came to my office a few days back at the Federal Medical Center. A man? What about him? He, um, he actually came to thank me for taking good care of his son while he was on admission at the hospital. <sighs> That's so thoughtful of him. But um, this man made a very shocking revelation. 
tell me about it. Doctor. Yes. I actually came to appreciate you. Um, what are you thanking me for exactly, Mr. Kanandu? My wife told me how good you were to my son when he was on admission. Oh, that. So you don't need to thank me. I mean, I was only doing my job. Yes, I know. But you know that some doctor and nurses are heartless. But you are in your own case. You handled my son as though you are brought. Well, that is how I attend to everyone here in the hospital. It's a natural thing. Well, my son is here healthy and has gone back to the university where he's studying biochemistry. Oh, that's great. Super, super great. I'm, I'm glad he's fine now. <laughs> and I love that smile on your face, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. Doctor, your husband is a twin. Yes, I am married to a twin, but how did you know that? You are married to a great family of twins that are destined to great. <laughs> Wait a minute, sir. Are you are you a seer or something? That family will have been married into God. And we soon be wiped away for your progression. Wait, wait a minute. Could this, could this be the reason? I mean, I have been married to my husband for a couple of years. I haven't conceived just yet. I am medically inclined. I have checked myself. There is nothing wrong with me medically. Same thing as my husband. And you have not managed to conceive me. Become a call by a woman. Sir, please, who is this woman? Who is she? I will expand on the waiting behind the cause when I see your husband and the twin brother. Doctor, that is not even possible. It will be difficult to get the two of them together. As I speak to you, both brothers are cats and rats. They must come together as one. Is that the only solution? Unity. Unity. I'm sorry, sir, but I, I don't understand. I mean, your husband and his twin brother must reconcile and start relating as brothers. Then, the course will be reversed back to the woman. Just that? Just that. And I mean it. Could you believe that? I don't get it. Listen, I'm really disappointed at you for even thinking that whatever that man told you is true. These people are fake pastors and see us parading the streets. That's that's not reality. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> is that all you have to say? What else do you want me to say? I've told you the kind of disdain I have for this, this charlatans parading as pastors and men of God and seers. My love, we have been married for the past five years. And in these five years, I haven't conceived. Doesn't that bother you? Sweetheart, listen to me. Our inability to reproduce yet has got absolutely nothing to do with any woman. Don't you get it? My love. You need to reconcile with your brother. At least this will break that evil curse or whatever it is that evil woman has on us. It will automatically backfire. That is what the man said. Let's just give it a try, please. You know, you're beginning to sound so strange to me. Don't tell me you have accepted what that Mr. Otokanandu said about a strange evil I accept evil. everything he said. Whatever he said, I believe is the truth. 
We need to have this conversation, please. Sorry. Babe. Oh. You're not just going to walk out on me. This is the particular piece of land our guy said we should come and show you. Yeah, on Aladia. Okay, uh, but uh, where did that land end? Uh, from here. That fence yeah. there over there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That fence is the, is, the, is the end. Yes. Then from this place now to this to this tree. Exactly. The, you mean the Menalite? Yes. Yeah, okay, this, that one is a... Uh, no, 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 that's it, man, it's not. Yeah, we that's man, we don't sell this one. We don't sell this one. Yes. We don't sell them. Okay. Even yeah. beside, we don't sell them too. I'm telling you. Okay, but I'm not sure this land is up to two. Ah, two no, no. Ah. You bring your bring your Sophia now. Bring your Sophia. I'm going to Sophia. Another time. From this fence now to this tree is 50 by 100. Yes, I mean, exactly. Then from this tree now to this place, it's another 50 by 100. Bam! Okay, this is the land our boss specifically asked us to bring you to. Um, exactly. This land is pure for filling station. It's a good site. I'm telling well, you. I'm, I don't want to fight. No. Level land now. Okay, no problem, but I'm not going to make any payment until I see the certificate of uh, occupancy. Hey, you know oh, there is no problem, you there is no problem. You know there, everything problem. is intact. Oh, no, the the Ligma, we you know provide that. every necessary certificate hey, or document you need for the Even plant. the CEO, CEO of oh, ABC, everything, is there. everything is intact. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, guys. Uh, but please, oh. I hope this land is not in any dispute. No, 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 no. no. I hope there's no issue uh, in this land. No, no, no. no, no, no. We know the land. Okay, okay, first and for you. May we carry you go here, Wagadi? Yes. May you see. Now, when you just carry you go here, I know. I know what I'm avoiding. Now, begging land. Now, begging land. No, we know they do back here business. Get the insurance. Uh -huh. They don't face the left and the right for you. You see that place? Now we say the one waiting for back of this one. Yes, man. I guess you have seen the land. My boys showed you everything, right? Yeah, yeah. I've Good. Seen. So you don't have to worry yourself about anything. Okay. Uh, I hope you, your boys told you what we discussed. What is that? Oh, about the papers? Yes. Perfect, yeah. These are the papers, these are the documents of the land. Complete with certificate of occupancy. So once you make payments, the land is yours. Uh, let, me, let me see the papers. Okay. Please. Go ahead and peruse. I hope this uh, CFO is uh, is original. You can see the stamp and the seal and the signature. This is directly from the Ministry of Lands. Okay. So once you make your payment, the land is as good as yours. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make the payment right away. Perfecto. <laughs> Perfecto. I hope there is no issue. Hey, Please hey, hope. hey, hey. I am Paul the Enigma. I don't involve myself in shady deals. Okay. Um, your card number, please. Okay. Um. Yeah. Ocean Bank. Okay. Yeah. Don. Are you sure? Yeah. Check it. Right. Perfect. <laughs> the land is yours. <laughs> it's okay. I I have to run along. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> nice doing business with you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. All right. Bye bye. Please, <laughs> please.
I will open a provision shop for my Yomine, for my Uma, my baby. You see her? Hey! Nana. Woo! Nana. If I say now you be the only Agboro, where they behave like idiots, we no get one single cent. It will be like say I didn't insult you. Insult me not. How you go go open a provision shop for woman where you never mind? You know say no sabi talk. Sure you know say you know sabi talk. How does it concern you how I spend my money? She's my woman, my wife, my baby. Oh, I can't believe they talk rubbish. Would they tell you something? They talk about that, my baby, my this one, my this one. See, man, I tell you. As soon as you your house, she carry your belly. You never pay her bride price. If anything happens to that girl, if anything happens to that girl, you go marry her. So course. I'll tell you. Huh? Pay everything complete. Oh, I die, I eat, I eat. Everything must be complete. No, 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 no. What will happen to her? What will happen to her? Now I see two of you are not my friends. So are you now wishing my Onye to die while giving birth? What will happen to Onye? My friend, we are not wishing Onye dead. We are suggesting since that girl is pregnant for you and her parents is forcing her on you, mm -hmm. go and pay her back for her. He chose the only way house. You want to go shop in the You open for her. Ah, ah, see, yeah. you people should keep your suggestion on your own. Allow me to suffer my suffer alone. This is your business. But Spider, eh? hey. two of you don't know what I suffer every day I go home. Could you believe that Onyinye will wake me up at night, midnight, mm -hmm. to send me for one errand or the other? I saw the president of the day. You never see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they laugh? Then they send you errand. You never, never see anything. <laughs> see, just allow me. You never see anything. Allow me. When you, they do the same. You don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what I'm saying. When you do the same. You don't know what I'm saying. 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 No, make it all with me up for my own half of me. Not the ego with me. What are you doing here? Come on. Is that a form of welcoming a visitor? Have I not warned you to stop coming to my office? If you had picked my call, I wouldn't have been here. Listen, Agnes. I don't mix business with pleasure. Take a walk. When I have need for you, I'll call you. As if you're going to call. That is what you keep saying each time I visit. Yeah. Can I concentrate? Well, I'm here to... You know already. To collect the money. What? Mm-hmm. You heard it. What money? I, I should give you my money to what end? Okay, you promise to give me a refund. <laughs> See this no fool. They bought you today. Wait. You're trying to tell me you took a promise I made when you were moaning and groaning on that ecstasy. Serious? He must be a learner. He didn't mad. Who be Lena? You know how many years I don't do for this business? You see that particular money? That 150,000 that you promised me made me to do unimaginable things with you. You must give me that money. That money must enter my palm before I step out of this place. If not, <laughs> the whole building will gather for me and you. I will shout. Ah, ah, you, 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 you will shout for me. Look at this one. You think I'm one of those men that when a woman tells them she will shout, they begin to fidget and, and, and get afraid? If you want to shout, I see, I'll be free to this part, my man. Let me even start shouting. Get out of my office! I'm not giving my money! I'm not giving it! No! 
I wasn't the one who did pain. It was my husband. And he's been the one pain all the while. So, what was the reason you, you cut off my subscription when we've paid? Okay. Very well then, I have given you the subscription number. Go through your data, you will discover that there was no reason whatsoever for you to have terminated my, my, my subscription. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Give me my money, I beg. Agnes. Okay, give me my money. Agnes, leave my clothes. I don't want you now. <laughs> Who you the one? Give me my Agnes, money. Agnes, leave my clothes. I give me my money, I beg. What is wrong with you? You slapped me. Yes. Why you slapped me? And I was... You won't give me that money. Today. Agnes. You give me that money today. You think what that money? You must give me that money. Agnes, leave my. Yeah. You want to know my picture? Okay. Agnes. You give me that money today. I'm not with you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be happy, bro. Uh, if I had you, you know, like a friend. Uh, me, I'm not your free, oh. And I'm going to do what's your free business. You enter my suite in the middle. You won't call me, no one pay. Who told you for free? Uh -huh. I told you for free. I'm not going to do that. You won't wait in the man. You won't wait in the man. You know that one. Leave me now. Me, go leave you. Agnes, leave me now. I don't believe you. Agnes, why? I don't believe you. Agnes, you. I don't believe 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 you. This guy don't try me, this guy don't try me. I swear to God I will kill Agnes. Oh. Oh. Dear Chris. <sighs> that guy never see the last of me. In fee say in Agbo. Dear Chris, well, well. <laughs> you see that money? That poor go pay me every penny from that money. And the Agbo, the Agbo. You didn't learn. Agbo, they learn we are shower day. Go tell you, say, eh, I don't get shame for I. And now we, we, we be a shower now. We they run this town. Go collect. This one not small. One thing I do you not small. You go, you go, you go, they collect steady. As I see anywhere when I see you go collect until you give me that money. Be mad. Agbo. <laughs> Ah, see Paul. Agnes actually did this to me. I will teach her a lesson. She wants me to give her money for phone? How can I buy phone for a prostitute? Somebody I remember where and how I met her. Tell me, are we not going to spend the night? Yes, but we can start now. now. No, no, we don't have to start now. Just Why? go and have your bath, okay? And come back. I'll be waiting. Okay, let's let's take one round first before. I okay. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, have you heard of um snake in a monkey shadow? Uh, what is that? Oh, that is the lecture I'm going to be. <laughs> Taking you in a minute. <laughs> <sighs> Babe, you are the bomb. <laughs> I told you. <sighs> <sighs> Why did you call it again? <laughs> you mean the almighty um, snake in the monkey shadow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I've never had that style before. Even my calabar bib has never... She doesn't even know it. Are you serious? Yes. Wait. 
you have a calabaji of egg. Yes, now, you know, it's not good for a man to be eating the same soup every day. Sometimes you do a goosey, sometimes you do okra. <laughs> sometimes you mix it. Sometimes you mix it. <laughs> Her name. Her name is uh, Eno. Eno. Yes. I know it's my sister. Are you a Calabar girl? Mm. Hey! No wonder! <laughs> hey! You people are very perfect in this deal. Are you serious? Like, it's like it's inborn. Yeah, 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 it is. I can see! <laughs> <laughs> they grew more separately on that. I swear! <laughs> you turned my head around. Are you serious? <laughs> So, what's your name? You are just asking me. Sorry, you know, I was carried away. <laughs> I just needed to get into the honey pot immediately. <laughs> well, my name is Agnes. Hey! Again, one mm? man. <laughs> <laughs> I am Paul. Okay. Yes. I must confess, you are too good. Hey! Thank you. You are too strong. I am a machine. <laughs> <laughs> and you are equal to the task. Please, I need more work. <sighs> what? What kind of irresponsible guy is Paul? Huh? This is half past nine. And he's yet to be back from work. Why, why does he derive joy in doing all of this? He does this always. All the time. All he does is come back in the dead of the night, reeking of alcohol and different stains of lipstick on his, on his shirt. Then again he will lie. Does not just lie, he, he, he finds a way to beg that he will not repeat this again. And he jumps back at it after two days. Is, is this nice? What sort of rascal is this? What sort of rascal is Paul? Huh? I think I have to leave. I have to go find something better to do for my life. <laughs> Frankly speaking, my love, you have the strength of ten men, I must confess. Really? Yeah. How good of that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yes. We are going to do this style again. Oh, I'm not tired of it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That style to me is outdated because I have so many styles. Hey! I need to teach you. You are a prof in this business. <laughs> really? So many. Hang on, let me smoke and drink and recharge. Wow. You smoke? 
every babe on the streets wants. Hmm. My phone is ringing. Please help me with it. Okay. It's in the pocket of my jean. Okay. <sighs> Who is it? Enno. Enno. Hello? Where are you? I I went to visit my brother and, and his wife. Liar. Which of your brother and his wife did you go to see? Huh? Paul. Why are you doing this? And are you calling me a liar? I am calling you a liar because that is what you are. I, I said I was going to call to tell you I will not be coming home tonight. I, I'm with them. It's fine, no problem. Go ahead. Lie. Lie. I, hello? Hello? Leaving this house. I can't take this again. I can see that my presence in this house is the reason Paul has taken me for granted. Paul is a blood and liar, and I can't do this again. First thing tomorrow morning, I am packing everything that belongs to me and I am leaving this house for good. What kind of what kind of rubbish is this? What sort of life am I living? Why am I doing this to myself? Have a very fine. <laughs> I'm in charge of the union of road transport workers. Money is never my problem. Are you serious? Of course. <laughs> I love men that sound like you. Now come here, let me take you to the cloud. Now. Hey! I do not owe you explanations to what I am doing. I am leaving. I, I've had enough of you and I can't take this again. No, 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 no. You, you cannot leave me. I need you around the house. Really? You need me around the house, not around your life, huh? No, do, do not put words in my mouth. You know what I mean. Please, you cannot go. Stay back. Well, I am not staying in this house for a day. 
a second anymore because I see staying here has made you disregard me. You don't even think, you don't take me as anything because I stay in your house, Paul. Okay, no, please. Look at you. She don't even know how to lie. You know, staying here will make me lose my sanity and I can't take, I can't do this, please. Yeah, no, okay, okay. I know you may have verified that I was not with my brother last night. I, I, I went for a business that will fetch money. Oh, stop patronizing me with your money tales. Uh, Paul, I am not even interested in your money. I have asked you to, to build your life. But I can see that is very difficult for you to do. So I will just leave you. Okay? Enough. Coming back home to meet you is the only tonic I need to spark my imagination. You cannot just leave me and go like that. Please. If you leave me, I may not live to see tomorrow. Oh, wow. Paul, I can see that you're very good in blackmailing me emotionally. But I will only stay here for a day if you say the truth and nothing but the truth. Paul, where did you spend the night? What? I can see you're not serious. I know, I know, I know, no, please. I will, I will tell you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. You see, I... When... Okay, to... Hello, Mr. Paul, good afternoon. Uh, this is Agnes speaking. Uh, Agnes, now, nah, where you picked for Johnson Street last week? Ha. Ha. Okay, you think they forget? They, they pick forget things, though. Agnes, now wait tell you that Calabar babe, wait till you say you know Enno. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I saved you that very day because of the promise you made to me. Ah, okay, boy, you need to forget things, so. Ah, ah, you promised me, say you go, go give me 150,000 naira to get a new phone. Don't forget. Hello? Ogapo? He called the call. Surprise, surprise. He thought I was not going to find it. What are you doing here? You know the reason I'm here. I don't. Tell me. Okay. Well, I'm here to collect the new phone you promised me. Hey! She make you manic when you know Is it that you are sick? Or you're deliberately trying to provoke me? Hogger. You know the reason I left that money? The reason I left was because you promised to get me a new phone. I left my full entitlement. Please, do not provoke me this hot afternoon. Are you not a fool? <laughs> like, you want me to buy a phone for you? A prostitute, I'm an alopio. <laughs> well, I'm not ready for your pranks this hot afternoon. Mm-hmm. It will be your greatest undoing if you refuse to give me that money. X, I am going to create a very beautiful scene this afternoon. <laughs> you can't catch this one. <laughs> you don't know say you're in a pack. I've seen more like you go ahead and could this. Since you don't want to give me the new phone, please can I have my full entitlement for the job well done? I am not giving you any money. <laughs> and you will walk out of my office now. <laughs> the call was the first reminder. This visit is the second one. 
Trust me, you will never like the third one. Because it's going to be hot on both of us. Good day. Like, who do, how many people would sleep with you and give you phones? She will surely pay for this, I swear to God. Agnes will pay with her own blood. Look at what she did to me. What do I tell you not happen to me? How do I explain this? Girl is a bitch. I set my eyes on her. I'm going to kill her. Who is a bitch? And who are you trying to kill? The person that did this to me. Oh my goodness, what happened? It was at the park. Oh. A driver and an aggro were involved in a fight. My only crime was going to separate them. Before I knew it, the driver picked up a bottle and tried to attack me. I meant to defend myself and he caught my hand. Oh, why would you try to separate a fight? You should have remained in the office. Hey, no, have you forgotten I'm the chairman of the union? I haven't forgotten. But you, still, you're not the chairman of fight separation. Now look at what you've done to yourself. We just stop the blame game and do what you're supposed to do, seeing me in this state. It's okay. Um, I think the pharmacy did a good job. Yes. You'll be fine. Thanks to that woman, she did a wonderful job. I was bleeding profusely, but she, she was able to contain it. Sorry. Huh? I lost a lot of blood, you know. You needed to see the cut. But that pharmacy woman did. She did wonders. I'm just feeling just slight pains. It's okay. By tomorrow morning, everything, I mean the pains, will go away. Yes, that tomorrow morning I'll go back for her to take a good look at it. It was even one of the Agbiros that directed me to Clapet Pharmaceuticals. Huh? Hmm? You yes. say? I went there and I saw wonders. Um, wait. Did you just say Clapet Pharmaceutical? Yes. How oh, Peter, your twin brother, owns that pharmacy shop. Yes? What? Peter owns Clapet? Mm-hmm. I know Peter is a lecturer and a pharmacist, but I never knew he owned any pharmaceutical shop. Okay, continue taking it as stated. You will be fine. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the professional way you handled my case. I appreciate you, sir. It's my duty to take care of you. So sorry. is beginning to make sense. I'm beginning to put two and two together. So Clapet is a coinage from 
Clara and Peter? Wow. You're very intelligent. How come I never thought of this? Peter owns pharmaceutical shops in this town. And I never knew about it. But babe, that pharmacy shop is a well-known one in the town. If I had known he owned it, I would never have gone there. Why? Are you the one asking me this stupid question? Really? Peter is your twin brother. Your blood, why keep malice with your blood? Are you not supposed to be serving me food now, Kichoka? I'm going to Ghana before Maya. Maybe I'm going to make a panic. When you guys see me, I'm going to make a panic. Maybe I'm going to make a panic. I'll get you something to eat. I'm going to make a panic. And I'm going to make a panic. Okay, Kaka, man. Kaka, I'm going to make a panic. My love. All I'm asking is that you give peace a chance. Two wrongs can't make a right. Paul is no other person but your brother. Your twin brother. One egg formed both of you. That's why you guys have this striking... Please. Please. Listen, I'm preparing for my lecture tomorrow. Can you just let me do that? I'm not trying to distract you. I'm just, I'm just saying you reconcile with your brother Paul. At least to break that jinx that... Hey, 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 please, stop this. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? Peter, you won't shoot me. I am your wife. I am concerned. An outsider won't tell you the truth. I will. So, I, I, I don't know why you're trying to fight this. There is absolutely nothing wrong in what hey. I have said. You're trying to get me angry now, babe. Please. Don't get me there. Please. I don't wish to get you angry, but my love, take a look at this. This whole thing doesn't seem normal to me. Paul at his age is not married. He's, he's wayward. He, he's a tout. He's a rascal. A law graduate from UNM. And you think this is ordinary? He lives with a Calabar girl who he's not even married to. You have been married for the past five years. With... And you've not been able to consider you think this is ordinary? You will not walk away from me each time I talk. I try to talk about this. Listen to me, Peter. So why the sudden must swing? Lest I forget, Dr. Clara was here today to see you. What for? <laughs> when has it become a crime for your brother's wife to come visit him? It is a crime for her to step her feet in this house. After I've warned them to stay away from me. Oh, listen, family is everything. Whether you like it or not, Peter is the only family you've got. So deal with it. She's lucky. I swear she's lucky I did not meet her in this house. I would have taught her a lesson she would never forget in her entire miserable life. What nonsense. On the contrary, she was here for a crucial meeting with you. A crucial meeting? What crucial meeting? Are you sure there's somebody in the house? One is just a knock away. Um. I'm not sure there's anybody in here. Oh, okay. Adriano! Adriano, someone want to see Agapo? Adriano! I said she's asleep. Alright, um... While she wakes up, just let her know or tell her when he comes back that his twin brother's wife is here to see you. Okay? Um, Alright, I'll, I'll come around some other time. Okay. Well, hey. Okay, they come back at midnight. In that case, I'll go to his office to see him. That would be okay. Alright, thank you. Yeah. 
Oh, good evening. Uh, 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 hi. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I was actually sleeping upstairs. It's okay. My name is Dr. Clara. I'm Paul's um, twin brother's wife. Oh my goodness. Please come in. Welcome, okay, man. Thank um, you very much. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Um, let me go get you something refreshing. Okay? Oh no, it's okay. I'm I'm fine. Maybe when next time here you can get me. Are some. you sure? Yes. Okay, man. Um, um, what's your name? Oh, my name is Eno. Eno, beautiful name. Thank you very much. Eno. Are you aware Paul has a twin brother? Oh, yes. I'm aware. Have you ever wondered why they don't relate as brothers? <sighs> you know, their animosity towards each other has really given me cause to worry. And as a woman that lives with him in the same house, have you ever tried to open a conversation with him on this subject? Of course I have. Severally. But Paul wouldn't want to associate himself with the only immediate family left, which is also his twin brother. He will always push me away and shun me whenever I brought up the issue. You know, the fact that they don't even want to see eyeball to eyeball breaks me. I have not seen a thing like this before. I think there's a problem somewhere. Paul at his age is not married. Looking at you, you're a good woman. What's keeping him? I and my husband have been married for five years, no child. That, there's definitely a problem somewhere. Ma'am, you know, Paul, Paul's lifestyle is, is something else. His rascality, his nonchalant lifestyle is nothing to write home about. All Paul does is jump from one prostitute to another. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say anymore. You know what? I want us to join forces and rescue our men. How do we go about that? I was told that an evil woman, your father jilted to marry their mother, is the one behind this. What? And only reconciliation from both ends can break this curse. Just that? Just that. <sighs> okay, I promise to play my part in convincing Paul to, to come around. I know it will be difficult, but I'll try my best. Please do. Okay? It's for our own good. It was nice talking to you, but I have to be on my way now. I, I'll come again. I'll come visit him again. Then. All right. And say me hi to Paul when he I comes will. back. Right. It's nice meeting you guys. Same here. Okay. Take care of you. All right. I always known there was something mysterious about Paul. I was sure. Because how can a graduate of labor law be an art wearer? Makachi Clara is lucky I did not meet her in this house. I would have so dealt with her, she would not walk across this gate next time. Oh, I think you're the one who needs help. You need to help yourself. Yes. Did you just say that to me, Elo? Yes, I did. And I will repeat it again. You need to rise up and help yourself. I mean, look at you. Are you not ashamed? Are you not ashamed to be an Agberu after, after reading law? Ah! Don't say that again. In even my why, I am an Agberu because I chose to be. Do you know how much I make in that office? 
Really? <laughs> and who says we're talking about money here? Paul, we're talking about dignity, not money. Peter is not richer than me, even though he's a lecturer and a pharmacist. Amazing. On the contrary, he is. Can't you see? I mean, you are still in the family house. He left for you. He has built for himself a duplex and doing very well with his pharmacy business. And you're talking about who is richer? It's not about the house. I am still here because I want to be here and this is better than his house. If I want a new house, I will build it immediately. And let me warn you, Eno. I hate it when people compare me with Peter. Paul, I am not just people. I am your woman. And I have the responsibility to tell you the truth. You talk with so much hate for your brother. You say bad words against him. Whether you like it or not, Peter is your brother. So, what are we talking about here? Hey, no. Please, in the interest of peace, concentrate on your duty as my woman and stick to it. Stop dabbling in my family affairs. And I will beg you in the name of whatever you hold sacred. Let peace reign. Peter is your twin brother and you two have to come back together as brothers. Please. I am an enigma. By every definition of that word. I warn you again. Stay away from my family affairs. Wait for there. Abel, stop there. <laughs> you know, say we get calls to set in now. Sorry, I don't know you. Yeah, hey, Chris. I think you don't know me. I'll be like two years old girl for your eye. Say, if I see who that fellow go remember him. Abel, give me my money, Jare. So, sorry, calm down, please. I, I, I am not who you think I am. Okay, I go slap you. Who you want to see? Give me my money. Say, you are not. Give look, me my money. Look and I look your face. Look at me very well. I'm not who you think I am. I, I know. Father you... Paul, give me my give me my money. I am not Paul. Paul is my twin brother. Paul is a, is my twin brother who, who actually is a lawyer, but I refuse to to study. <laughs> I'm doing Agbero. I beg, forget which lawyer, which lawyer Paul be. Paul and Agbero. Just believe me, I'm not Paul. I, I I know very well what you're talking about. Even your your behavior. Your appearance tells me that you are not, you are not really, you know, be poor, you know, you know, be poor, you know, be poor. I am telling you that I know what you're talking about. I did not deny, but the truth is, I'm not. Okay, poor. no, Wahala, if you reach, help me, tell poor. Agnes, talk, say, if I see him anywhere, I go tear him. Oh, sorry. Who are you? My name is Agnes. The most popular shower for this whole area. Poor your brother can't knock me. You know, guess that one no give poor. I give poor two snake and monkey shadow. I give poor all this time. Poor chop me finish. If he say me now show free, 
I know they'll do a show. I never do it for my life. You go pay me that money. The last time I will see now, Inja, Inja, and for hand. The next time when I go see him, I go cut his neck. What kind of embarrassment is this? Huh? I can't even go where I'm going anymore. Just, just look at my shirt. How do I go where I'm going now? And I have to go and look for another shirt. Now, so I will take a tap on this case today. Hey, hey! Abe, who there you? Abe, give me chilled uh, can water. I'm gonna taste. Okay. What did they happen? <laughs> what a striking resemblance. Hey! <laughs> Someone can mistake their two uh, 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 to be the same person. Just that, this lecturer looks more refined and gentle than that Agbero. That Agbero, Agbero, Paul. <laughs> Paul, last last you go collect, you go collect Woto Woto. You know if you chop me, you know if you do me or show free, you know if you happen. Eh? You don't make me not come go tear this gentle, handsome, cute guy. I just tear in shit for nothing. Okay, now no wahala. <laughs> you <will> see. Paul. <laughs> Ooh. So finally we met. Huh? You think you can make away with my 10 million naira? No way. Now what I want is my money or I'll call police on you now. Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? Okay, fine. I am Richard. The guy you sold a land that belongs to another person too. Now give me my money now or I'll call police on you. Um, Mr. Richard, Mr. Richard, I am not poor. You are a pathological liar. What do you mean you are not poor? You, you and your boy sold a land to me, a land that belongs to another person, and you made away with my 10 million naira, and now you are telling me you don't know me. Please, listen okay. to me. My name is Professor Peter Ndulue, a lecturer of pharmacology at the State University, married to Dr. Clara Ndulue, who works with the Federal Medical Center. That's the same name, Ndulue. Peter Ndulue. Paul is my twin brother. I am not into land racketeering, neither do I deal on lands. So if you have any dealings with him, I'm sure you know where to find him. He might be saying the truth. The only difference between the two of them is the manner in which he speaks and his gentility. Anyway, I'll just get him. If I lay my eyes on that guy called Paul, what I will do to him, I have no sin. I will, I, will, I will deal with him ruthlessly. You think he can eat my money and run away? Imagine selling, selling a, a land that belongs to another person to me and run away with my money. Don't worry. I will make sure him and his thoughts rot in jail. By the time I finish with him, he, know, he will know who Richard is. I will, I, I will go to the end of the world to make sure I get him. Imagine what, what this innocent guy must be going through. Eh? 
Who knows how many times people have stopped him to, to embarrass him because of this idiot called Paul. Eh? Just standing the innocent boy's name for, for, for nothing. Anyway, I will, I will surely get him one day and I will deal with him. I will make sure he rots in jail. It's a promise. Don't mess with me. Paul is misbehaving so much in this town, I might be forced to arrest him. What has he done again? That guy is causing me so much embarrassment. Okay, just calm down and tell me what happened. Take it easy. There is no place I walk into in this town that somebody does not stop me or confront me telling me I ate their money. Oh my goodness. This has always been my fear. You two are so identical. I hope none of them was violent towards you. Huh. One was a prostitute. Huh? A high class prostitute that Paul slept with and did not pay her. She almost tore all my clothes. You can see this is not the clothes I wore out of the house. Oh I had to get to a boutique to pick this shirt. The other was one Richard who said Paul sold the land to him that he had sold to someone else. What kind of disgrace is this? God. This is not good at all. Babe, what do I do to this man? Nothing. My love, you won't do anything to him. He is your blood. So if he's my blood, he should continue to cause me pain? You have to keep enduring. I have had it up to here. I'm tired. Honey, please, just, Jesus, just calm down. I won't allow you confront your brother. That is the last thing you should be thinking about right now. So I should let him keep misbehaving and dragging the Indurway family name in the mud. What if you confront him and then you guys get things twisted? You know how your, how it always ends up when you two meet. Please, just calm down, I beg you. God. Please. What have I done to deserve this, God? Why would you give me somebody like this as a brother? Um, babes, it might, it might not be entirely his fault. It might be as a result of the course placed on him. Same thing that man told me, the one who came to my office. How do I convince him to pay attention to what that man said? So, have you guys found a buyer for the land? So we get Boss, you can't believe what we are here to tell you. What is it? Boss, would they have found us on that land? Oh. With the buyer. That man threatened fire and brimstone to the extent that the buyer had to leave. I'm telling you. Udekwe did what? Spider, is it true? Must be true. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. I hope you like the land. You like, the, you, like, you, like, you like what you see, right? I know. See, see, oh, that's what I'll be happy. Uh, the land is okay. The land is okay. I'm fine with the land. Uh, please, I want to buy the people. I don't want any issues. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no issue at all. Oh, you understand? No. Our lands are legit and confirmed. You can see it's a virgin land. Table land. Virgin, virgin land. Virgin yeah. land. What's the name of that your boss? Barista Paul. Barista Paul. Yes. Wow. Okay, bye. Yes. Nice. Nice, right? Um, I would like to see him because I would like to get more clarification from him. <laughs> that one is not a problem now. If you want to go now, his office is uh, is around that uh, around about that motor park. Ah, yes, his roundabout. office is uh, around that yes. around that place. So shall we look at of course, let's let's let's. Who are these encroachers? What exactly are you people doing here? What is happening here? Can somebody tell me? Who are you talking? 
Um, uh, what, what, what do you mean by that? Uh, uh, what is going on? Uh, don't, don't worry, we are already leaving. Uh, we, are, yeah, yeah. To, uh, yeah, we are going. Tell already. me what is happening here. What are you boys doing here? What is he asking? Uh, we, 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 uh, uh, you know what, okay? Let's just, 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 let's you guys calm down. I don't like when things have been done in Jesus. They brought me here, they said that they want to sell this piece of land. No, we don't want to. It's not that we want to sell. Like, we are showing you the land that we normally sell. Let me hear. Let me hear. My name is George. They brought me here. They said they want to sell this particular piece of land. And I'm interested because they said their boss is one Mr. Paul. One Mr. Paul. One Mr. Paul. Yes. One by Mr. Paul. By support according to them. Oh, that Aboro, that Aboro brought this his doubts to my house, saying they want to buy this my portion of land. I refused, but I can now see that they have decided to snatch it from me and sell, just as they have been doing to others. What? But this will be his last. My dear man, you needed to be there to witness with your kuro kuro ID where this man was ranting. Udege was ranting, threatening to kill anybody who dare step his or her foot into that land. Chama man, play the thing well. That's how the fellow you talk now, eh? We don't convince that man. Finish. And they tell you that man, no, he just be like say he won't do transfer the boss. The man, the man land. Man just sham you the way the thing this thing take be. Shut up! I'm not telling you what I think. I'm not telling you what I think. This is their work. These are his boys. Uh, you take them to people's land, sell the land, and when you come there, you and the owner of the land will uh, be boys, partner. Let's go to your office. Uh, uh, let's just let's 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 I, I, I could have been duped by all these chips. You said your name is George. Yes, sir. George, when next you want to buy any portion of land, especially in this area, ask questions to avoid being defrauded by these agoros. Huh? Around here. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. well. Um, I don't want to. You, you boys, let me not see you anyway. I think I'll bring one deadly deity on this land. That's what I'll do. Somebody must die. Somebody have to die for this portion of land before you people will let. Now so, when did this happen? Yesterday. It was yesterday. God, you guys are idiots. Yeah. You guys have messed up this whole scenario for me. You would have called me at that time he was there, so I would come and beat him black and blue. Exactly. But so now what did I tell them? I tell them men will call you. They call the chicken out. I tell them, who will call you, may you poop for the men everywhere, boss. Say so if you poop for that place, you don't go to the yanta rubbish. I tell them, they're going to talk to rubbish. They say, hey, men will see you, men will play you face to face, this and this. I tell them. Makachi, if I get that to death, where man, I will strangle him, break his bones, and feed his carcass to the vulture. Boss, why don't we leave Udekwe's land alone? That man is dangerous. Is it not better we look for another land and sell? Shut up your mouth. Who asked your opinion? What you guys do not know is that that land is worth over 100 million naira. Uh, my chairman. What? But we'll, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll go find another buyer. You see that land? Ah, Bobby. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go sell that land. We'll sell it. Chima, we'll sell that land. We'll sure we'll not sell it. We'll go sell it. Boss, we better leave people's land for posterity's sake. I happen to land them much. Oh, they speak nonsense English. Who's for boss? You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. What man will make you? Who's going to make it here? For, 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 this man get my coin here! This man get my coin here! Ah, Bobby, mamu, go, 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 mamu,
with your own hands. Wow! Okoro! Open that gate. Okay, sir. Where you call me a thief in my own house? If you're not a thief, then tell me what you are. He that sells another's land in his absence without his consent, what is he? I will not have you come to my house and insult me. Paul, or whatever you call yourself, tell your boys to stay away from my land. Are you threatening me? Wait, do you know who I am? I'm still talking to you because of Ndulwe, your father. The next time you step into my land will be your last. Okay, try it once again. And you'll find yourself on a particular spot defecating and urinating on yourself with that hand. You know what that means? I will dash you stroke. Not partial one. Full dose. I'm telling you what I will do. I'm not threatening you. And the way I'm saying it is exactly the way I'm going to do it. Just try it once again and you know who I am. Only the mention of my name should put fear on anybody. But just pretend that you are not frightened and I'll put you off. <laughs> Let me find a new body of my lamb with you. Open the gate! Let me get out of this cost. Today, this is very diabolic. And he named every single way to just go. Uh, go and sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not doing it. Boss. Today, way is not only diabolic. He's a man rooted in tradition. You should know this. Can you all shut up and let me think? Exactly what you're going to You always the chicken out normally. Normally you've been get baby mind. You, you don't get mind normally. See, eh? boss, had it been I knew that that land rightfully belongs to Dekwe, ah, nothing would have stepped my foot on that land. To God, I will, I, I will never try it. Nothing will make me. To God! Or that you've been the chicken out before, now you've been getting chicken mind. Not the today. My dear man, this is how I'm beginning to feel. I, I can't risk my life because of that land. We have other lands in this town. Please, let, let us leave that particular piece of land. Even you, Chema. We don't have fear too. This man, they they. Okay, come out to say this man, they they. Let's see the man who let's see what's out there at the top for man, they talk rubbish. What did they feel do? Let's meet him soon. Chema. Who doesn't know you take in this community? I don't know why I give you. Now why the argument? I come out, man, boss. If now you take the village, you go give you. Go give you, Ibi. You don't know where you take me. First, he says he go give you food, no talk. Food, no talk, bro. You don't even know food, no talk. You don't even wake your mind. You don't see what he's talking about. Food, no talk, bro. That time he said you don't. You don't even want to get like that. Of course, they will feel it. Okay, I'm not going to check out that land. Useless man, and I'm wild here. But if you're that land, give me a wagon now. Stop with that land and see. Oh. Babe, I think you need to pay heed to those boys and refrain. That man I saw leaving this compound wasn't joking when he said he will kill you. Hey, no, please, please. Stay out of land business. You have no discussion with it. Really? Paul, would, would you rather die dragging another man's land? Huh? How come you don't want to stop this, this act of yours and start behaving like your brother Peter? Okay, now, 
All the money you've been making from your crooked ways, what have you managed to do with them? What? Is something wrong with you? What kind of stupid question is that? Paul, you know, I, I am trying so hard not to get offended because I see you're trying to insult me. Stay out of my business and there will be peace. And I will still advise you to stay away from that man's land. That is my candid advice to you, Paul. Stop it. If you forget everything in all, everything in this world, do not forget I'm still Paul the Enigma. The perfect definition of Onyisinkoka. Asika akulishie, akulishie. Do you hear me? Anything I have mapped out for sale must be sold. Paul. Paul. Two brothers, different personalities. This is still confusing. Hi. Hi. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. Um, the spoon around? Yes. Please have a seat. Let me fetch you. Please. Do. Thank you. Welcome. Paul, sorry to disturb you. You have a visitor. Who? Come see for yourself. Excuse me. I have heard what you said. I'll talk to him. Prof, please. Help me drive my point home. Tell Paul to desist from encroaching into my land. Else, I'll give him an oversized scrotum. Ibi, nko ibi. I do not say things I don't have intentions of doing. I don't know why Paul keeps embarrassing the Ndulwe family. Bringing shame to her name. Painting us black before people. But I promise you, I'll talk to him. Do you know that sometimes I wonder if both of you are twins? Nah, you don't want to know the embarrassment I face out there every day from people mistaking me for Paul. It is that thing he takes. That kai kai he drinks every day that prevents him from thinking like a human being. But why inflict pain on people? That's the question. You should know better. He's your brother. Tell him to stop trading on dangerous grounds. Because I will kill him if he dares enter my land again. I will kill him. I wash my hands of anything that concerns you take land. That man is too devilish. Very devilish. We no go continue. Okay, we don't go continue. If you don't go continue, say no go continue. Which one do we no go continue? You know we hear when okay say that land is worth over a million. No, no, no. Hundreds of millions. See, even if that land worth 10 billion naira, my guy. You need to understand that Udeko is very deadly. Okay, that man. Now did you man? Now did you man? You know that my father told me about how devilish Udeko is. Oh. Do you do you know who we are working for? Polo the Enigma. Polo, you see Koka. Now you will follow. I don't know why we are taking out. See, see, see. Polo na this people. Polo na gbe See, you need to understand that Udeko is very deadly. Bam. Udeko na na very wicked man. Can I ask one question? Why is Polo the Nigma so interested in selling Udeko's land, knowing how different that man is? Yes. Okay, the answer is very simple. The land is worth over hundreds of millions. If we say that land, oh my brother, you are settled. We are settled. I know. We are settled. We are settled. Oh, oh, 
We are talking on the grave. I forget that. I don't know if you do anything. I wash my legs, my hands. I'm not going to the grave. Don't forget key for this thing. You see him? Who wants? Nobody go feed. So small as the way he smokes. I'm back and down. I decided to hear you the smoke. No, they follow me. They hear me now. Come, come with me. Come, come, come. I'll buy you some. Sorry to have kept you. It's coming. Oh, it's okay. Thank you very much. Who is the person? Um, I'll keep that. That's fine. Paul the Enigma. Good afternoon. And now, who did you say I wanted to see? Ah, come on, Paul. You cannot pretend not to see. Sorry. I don't know what the drama is you're trying to start. But she's here on behalf of the family, so please listen to her. Okay? I'll try this. Thank you very much, Emma. <laughs> Would you rather sit down or. Stand so we could have a proper discussion. I know the reason you're here. Oh, good. That makes it easier for both of us. You came here telling my woman about a certain seer who had seen some rubbish. You know, I'm not really concerned about what the seer said. But I am shocked that you, a medical doctor, would swallow all of those things hook, line, and sinker. I am surprised you're reacting this way. We all know that there is a problem in this family. Whatever you heard is the truth. What is the truth, Clara? How can you, of all people with all your education, believe fetish people? Does medicine have any inclination with spiritualism? Paul, for goodness sake, it is glaring. It is obvious that something is definitely wrong somewhere. I just need you all to... You and your brother to believe what? Uh, sorry. But can you, um, can you keep that? You can go ahead with it when I'm gone. Please. Thank you. Okay, what's your solution? Can we at least sit down? It's okay, never mind. Um, Paul, we all know that there is a problem in this family. We're just trying to hide or run away from it one way or the other. But we can't run forever. Look at you. You have a beautiful and amazing woman with you in the house. At your age, you are not married. Your brother who's been married to me for the past five years. What can we show? No child. And you think everything is fine? I am a medical doctor, yet I believe what the man said. It was a long way to show the same things to me. Please. Your husband, Peter, is a complete failure. Yes. That is why he's unable to impregnate you. Oh, Clara. <sighs> Just give me a chance. Just one moment with you, my brother. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. I believe that's a joke. You're not serious, are you? If you are really, really serious with finding a solution, you will leave my suggestion. Losting after your brother's wife is making a suggestion? And you want me to listen to you? Pregnancy is what you want. And you think my husband is not man enough to get me pregnant, yeah? This is the dairy. Oh, it's you who can get me pregnant. You are the man. Clara, I want to make a confession. The truth is, I've always, I've always wanted to have you. Oh my goodness. Listen to me. Look at your skin, look at the way it glitters. Look at, look at the succulents and the texture. Let me eat you just once. I swear to God, you'll get pregnant and stuff. Just, 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 just keep quiet. You are getting me retweeted at this point. I'm just trying so hard not to get upset. Goodness. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever gotten any girl pregnant? 
Yes. Yes. You know, and that's why I'm wondering what you're doing with the wrong man. <laughs> you are disgusting. If you come, you talk with you, you go drink. Make I talk with you. You don't go drink again. It concerns you what you want to drink. My dear Beck, I no want to drink Wompa. Just get me a very cold bottle of more. I don't say that. More. I don't say that more for the G. The G you go drink. I bet if you be Wompa there, then I just my guy what you want to drink. I get a blue blade, Tabi. Yes, sir. Cold one, look. Oh, no, no. Guys. Mm -hmm. I'm getting tired of this job. Why? This is work. It's making me do so many terrible and unimaginable things, which I'm not supposed to get myself involved with. I, I don't understand though. I know you guys are signing. I don't just understand you. See, guy, I am not leaving this job. And I am not ready to leave this job. As long as it puts food on my table, pays my bills, I am in for it. So even if they tell you to to, 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 to kill someone, kidnap, or highway robbery, you will do it. No, no. Highway robbery and kidnapping is understatement. Yeah, eh? Oh my god, baby, you go now say, Chima. You get one big man, one I will go kill you now. Go go swap. Yeah, eh? If I get it here, we take the man. The way the next stab that man. I could kill him, confirm him there, say he don't buy. He give him a good thing. Spider, you can get him. Yeah, what's your name? So wait, you want to leave the work? Which work you want to go do? You want to start to the current fire, they go back. Yeah. No, okay, now tell me, which job now? I'll be which work for this country now? Better pass this out. Yeah. No, answer me now. The truth of the matter is that I don't want to get myself involved with any kind of devilish thing in the name of making money. You see, my woman is pregnant. You know, and I don't want you know, to dent the image of my household. Think about it now. You know what they pay me, Pastor? You know what they pay me? They pay me? Anytime when we they talk as men, as guys we will be, this move we will come up with. Like, say it don't matter. 
The woman where he be say, give me Now he dey call the wife. Ordinary small thing said, he never do for the girl head. Look at us now. Well, I don't give him a belay before. You think he belay? You know how many belay where they they bring from? Where they bring for you? If I keep them, you know how many to the wife. You do not declare one community. I tell you because two of you are not mad. That is why you cannot keep one woman. Give her belay. Keep her. Let's see. You see, eh? You see this nana, eh? We we need to give this guy serious orientation. I don't understand you. Wait, we need to join this one. Orientation. Guy, now men we get man, they keep woman better. Try to a me see. Drink, drink more, maybe you can, maybe you can let them drink Maybe, maybe some, some they worry you. What they do? They, you do the missy up. I bought me drink something. I'm not waiting that the duo they do in the midst of that much. That girl has not attended classes for one day. I learned she's been the one buying brand new phones for all lecturers and has slept a number of them. But I will tell her that I am not one of those lecturers. If she has to graduate, she has to pass those courses herself. Of course. Listen, I may not be very rich, I may not be a millionaire, but I am comfortable. And I will tell her I do not need her money. Darling. My wife is here, please. I'll call you back. Let me give her the attention she needs. Okay. Alright, bye bye. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My love, my angel. Mm -hmm. How are you? Very well. And you? I'm good, just here waiting for the match to start. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot the new season starts today. I need yes. to I'm ready. please get me food. Wait a minute, what did you just say? Food, I want to eat. What is the meaning of this? Honey, you are eating too much. I served you pounded yam before I left this house. Yeah, I... And you want to... Stop. That must be a joke. Wait, I cannot eat in my own house again. You are becoming a glutton. That is what it means. You now call me names for asking for food in my own house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Biko, don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> yes. I will go upstairs, freshen up and come and serve you food. But really, you need to watch it. You're eating too much. Come on. Food, please. What happened to our sisters? I don't care about that. Our trip to Mauritius Island. Hey, my Where you have to give them all the sexy poses and all. No, Port Belly will do the magic. Ah, oh God. And wait, or three meat. Hey, okay. Huh? I don't come outside to see you. Still go by waiting, I go by, come back, come see you here. We will be. They crazy. Are they rude? Are they block you? Madam, you they block me, oh. Mad. They block me. You have to leave here because if my yoga come back and see you here, you no go like waiting go do. Oh. Yeah, I don't tell you. No, tell me who be yoga. Who be yoga now? Madam, you better leave before you see something else for me. I don't tell you. What thing I want to see what I never see before? Hello, the Nigima. Now I want to see you. go make me run. Where you hear that name from? Eh, uh, madam? Mm. I can now leave. I have confirmed what I came to do. Tell Polo the Nigima that I will come to the Nigima and I will leave. Pretty good, man. No go see for gate. Baby, tell me now. What's your What's your Wait, now, Wait, now, make everybody know we complete. Ah, baby, that part now. What's the urgent for? Agnes. Your voice is not good at all. What's your life? What's your soul? Adivest. No. You know, babes are the best. What's your soul? What's your What's your soul? Ah! That's a wrong mistreat. Hi! Not be even saying wrong mistreat, they pay me. Waiting they pay me be say on a normal. The guy no even read to stop me, increase me for all. Now because say he get the kind of sapper where home me that day. Hmm. Ah that kind of sapper, eh? He 
If I even see dog, we put money for matter. Okay, I enter. Ah, that fuck man don't do me. One time, I remember them. I don't experience them. They break all. Eh? All the stars. All the missionary style when I don't learn is when I start this business, I give on to this guy. Hey! Now, what did happen last, last night? What did happen? No pain. Eh? <laughs> the thing with this man, they do not vex him. He they vex my body. How you go give him all this style? Missionary style? Eh? Okay. Doggy, up and down. Still, he no grip pay you. Why Let now? Monkey hey! Yeah. You give him that style! Hey, see, hey. the battle line has been drawn. We must fight. See, eh? this thing, this thing, this thing, they pay me. If they pay me, reach my bone. Eh? And now this man, they make us when they say we they open to, to plenty of diseases. Eh? Now we that they use to kidnapping. Either they find waiting to do money, money ritual. Now we that they find. Sickness is so infectious. Saving plenty of things. Now we our body they land. And at the end of the day, to come play, to come be wahala. When we say now this business, we they take chop. Eh? As I did like this, I don't get another thing. Now the only surviving thing I do for my life is this. Now when you yeah, yeah, ma go come up for somewhere, say go do you finish, you know, go pay you money. Who it be? Hmm. Rose don't talk and finish. <laughs> my sister. And they forget say, society forget say now we they satisfy all those men where their wife no fit satisfy for them. My sister. We they give them many, many styles. They arrange them for them, they give them, they don't even pay us. See, this one don't reach, sisters. In this business, we don't be sisters. This one don't they choke me for neck. They go, they see this man, we go find now. Sister, we're not going now. Poor, I go, poor go collect what? Wait, wait, we'll make I, wait, make I ask. This person where they call, this goat where they call, so you, if you get any idea how this I am, like any clue? Be that stupid, uh, whether na chairman, agbero chairman, uh, moto transport, I don't know even what it is. Wait, 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 wait. That one, we, we carry dreadlocks. Hey! We always put one designer bottle. Hey! Look at that man! We carry two of us that day. We in bread today, stay. Hey! That man! You know him? Hi, what do you think they are not? That's why we carry me daybreak. Hey! Can you do you this? Wait, 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 wait. You can't do daybreak. daybreak. That daybreak. Hey, you get locked. Oh. We in for sure. What do you think the time self? You don't for sure has come out. Huh? You get locked. If you see how man they bang us that day, she naked call. Hi! Throw leg. Up and down every day. Now you go if it's no pay you. Pogo collect. You go collect. Pogo collect. If I don't show up, I never do a show for my life. When you go show, this when I start this business. Now two decades. Now I did like this. I never do a show. You go pay that money. As you five finish, like this guy man. We go three times. Yeah. 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 We can see it. It is written all over you. We can see it. But you really change the road at all. Oni, what are you doing here? Who even told you that I'm here? You're asking me what I'm doing. Are you? What are you doing here? I'm enjoying the conference. Are you not supposed to be home? My man, let me go and do my bit. Uh, I do, you do, do, you do. Take it, take it easy, take it easy. Uh, if you don't want to go tomorrow, no problem. No problem. Uh, One day off. Uh, uh, because if you do your money. Hey! Now let this marry me. <laughs> if I marry, marry me with my kids. I swear. Imagine. No. Now listen, if any... Yeah, just walk a con, tell me, say, she get better. You go come out, you go come out, you go come out. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. My love, there is something I want to talk to you about. I, I don't want any of this to get you upset, but <sighs> I just want to get to know you better. Babe, you know you can ask me about anything on this world. And I will give you the sincerest of answers. Right? Thank you. Um, I, I, 
Have you ever gotten any woman pregnant? What kind of question is that? Honey, like I said, I really don't want to get you upset. But you know what they say. It is she who wears the shoes that knows where it hurts. I, I don't want you to take this some type of way, please. You're confusing me, babes. Where, where are you driving at? I, um... I just want to know. I mean, looking at you from your answer, it clearly shows that you don't recall getting any woman, I mean, any of your exes pregnant. Doesn't that tell you something? I don't get it, wait. Is that something to get a trophy for? Was I supposed to have impregnated my girlfriends outside of wedlock? Oh, honey, please, let's not twist this. I mean, the whole time you dated your exes, didn't any of them walk up to you to tell you that you have put her in a family way? None that I remember. Exactly my point. From all I understand now, it clearly shows that you never got any of your exes pregnant. See, honey, truth is, I've always been a science student all my life. And I understood early in life the implications of catching infections to not indulge in unprotected sex. So what you're saying in essence is that you never had unprotected sex? Never. As a matter of fact, I wasn't a sex freak like most boys my age at that time. <laughs> Can you just stop this joke? You mean the whole time you were with your exes, you never slept with even one girl without a condom? Come on, babes, I'm not a child. You can't fool me. Wait. What are you insinuating? That I am lying? What I am saying is that you are trying so hard not to believe the revelation from that man. Why? I cannot believe anything that is not scientifically proven. My love, you need to drop this stubbornness and look for a way to solve this puzzle. The earlier you do this, the better for us all. I can see that that CIA has succeeded in rumbling your mind. Hmm. Can you hear yourself talk? Babe, you're a qualified medical doctor. Practicing with FMC. Now I really understand the saying that religion is the opium of the people. And where did religion come into this? How? My love, I am only speaking facts. These are no facts. These are colossal fallacies. And I'm not going to discuss this further with you. Good night. Can't you see you're very useless? All you do in this house is to eat my money and enjoy your life. You can't even take in from, not even one pregnancy, not one. Paul, I can take everything from you, but definitely not the name calling. I mean, how am I supposed to get pregnant? Huh? When you barely touch me. You're hardly at home to perform your duties. How am I supposed to get pregnant drinking water? Am I supposed to kill myself on top of you before you take me? Have we not lost count the number of times we have made love? Why is it difficult for you to take him? Oh, I... All I know is that I am very fertile. If only you stay back and perform your duties, I know I will get pregnant. So don't put this on me, please.
have a feeling something is about to happen. Something that may stand against what I stand for. How do I unravel what this is all about? My Lord Grandmaster, I need to be attended to. My Lord Grandmaster! Philomena, what brings you to my private abode? My Lord Grandmaster, everything is tearing apart. Two parallel lines cannot meet, it's a physical phenomenon. But in the spiritual, they meet. That is why the things of the spiritual controls the physical. My Lord Grandmaster, I need you to unravel this mystery. You have spoken in the language of the deep. Can you break it down for me? The separation you created in the spirit is beginning to close up. Once it closes in the spiritual realm, the physical closure will be immediate and you will not like it. The separation I created. I do not comprehend. No, that will never happen. Even though they are twins, they will never come together. They have to pay for what their father did to me. You killed the man and his innocent wife. There is no body that is close to Ndulu that is innocent. The sins of the father must be visited upon the children and the children's children, even to the fourth generation. If that law you quoted works for you, then you must face it. Count me out. I have a feeling something is about to happen. But what it is, I do not know.
Oh. Oh. What's going on this time? How would I know? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Who am I on to, please? Does it mean you don't have my number anymore? Sorry, I lost my phone. I got a new one and I haven't activated my Gmail on it. Who is this? Your brother. Paul. Yes. What happened? How come I can't recognize your voice? My voice is still my voice. I am calling because we need to talk. Listen. I have withdrawn the letter from the lands. You can go ahead and sell the lands so that we know you sold everything. You cut all this feminine nonsense and listen to me. Act like somebody who came out from the loins of Ndurwe. We need to talk like brothers and it's very important. Oh, really? Now you realize we are brothers, isn't it? All this while you never bothered to contact or call me. Listen, if you have come with trouble, I'm going to get you arrested and charge you to court. Peter, we have many things to talk about. Things like what and what? Can you stop this? Calm down from your high horse. Do you know what it took me to pick up my phone to call you? We need to talk and it is important. What did he say? Where do you want us to see? I'm coming over to your house tomorrow. Good night. What did he say? Oh, we forgot this, this, this man. Babe. Mm. I'm confused. Why? What do you make of this? My love, I see better days ahead. What do you mean by that? It is obvious, my love. God is about to do something great in this family. All you need to do is just loosen up, okay? Wait, too. Are you sure you're not the one that called Paul? Have you been in contact with him? Oh, well, since my husband has refused to listen to the falconer as a falcon that he is, God in his infinite mercies has decided to come through the one termed enigma. By all means, that's insulting, babe. Mm -mm. You are just too headstrong, unnecessarily stubborn. Why? I can see you're trying to piss me off, mm -mm. but I won't fall for it. I am not trying to piss you. Listen to me. I am just happy that we're going to have a united family. God has decided to do something great in our family. Let's just allow that to happen. Okay? Good night. They are seriously working on their reconciliation so that their lineage will continue. And you know that is not good for me. Philomena, I have one advice for you. And that is, go home. No, oh, Grandmaster. You can't leave me alone now. I like to solve problems. Especially the ones I created. But I did not create this one. So honestly, I cannot solve them. My Lord Grandmaster, you cannot abandon me to fate. I have been an ardent follower, for I have followed you pragmatically. I have been a faithful servant. I offer my sacrifices as at when due. Please, Grandmaster. Dwayne's are not ordinary people. Go and reconcile with them before they reconcile with their children. They actually allowed you to manipulate them all these years because they refused to recognize their children. Reconcile with them 
Because when the forces finally come against you, you cannot be able to withstand it. Now you're living with a Calabar girl, I'm sure in no time you will throw out of your house. Decide and be... I will not die. I will not allow this to happen. That reconciliation must not hold. Never. Since the Lord Grandmaster has refused to help me, I will do this my own way. Happy. Oh my God. So finally, Paul has gone to see his brother. This time, not for war. this early because I want that reconciliation stopped. In fact, I want them dead. This is connected to their guiding agents, the Achi. Tell the Achi to stay away. Their father did evil against me. I've already sent him to his ancestors 30 years ago. And if the children should flourish, that means I achieved nothing. Do you have what it takes to be here and to be there at the same time? I do not have the power to do anything. Good. But I have the money to pay people who can do things. The separation I caused between Dulé's children must not close. I want them stopped. It's all right. 500,000 naira, I will send them to the great beyond. <sighs> Ide Jimba. Would you want to transfer our cash? Don't tell me you believe those cock and bull stories. A whole Paul the Enigma. Oh, cock and bull stories, is that what you call it? Listen, I'm surprised you're the one saying this. Is this really the reason you came here after all these years? <laughs> <laughs> 
What other reason could be more powerful than this? Look at me, look at my life. Do you think I'm happy with the kind of life I live? You think I'm happy not being married at this age? You think I'm happy studying law and not practicing it, knowing I have the knowledge? Is that it? I spent the whole night reflecting on what your wife said and I have come to the realization that there is point in what she said. <laughs> Paul, if you wanted to practice law, you would. Look at me. Am I not practicing what I studied? What is happening to you is as a result of people's lands you sold. He has nothing to do with any curse or any evil girl. What about you? No, 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 look at you. You have been married for years, yet you have not even one single child to show for it. Does that not tell you that something is wrong somewhere? At least I am married. Look at you. All you do is frolic with prostitutes every time. Now you are living with a Calabar girl who I'm sure in no time you will throw out of your house. Decide and fix your life like a man. And stop reading useless meanings into your self-induced setback. I'm not letting the demon in you discourage me. Oh. Wait, are you being serious with me? There is a demon in me. And you are the one who is okay, really? I am not here for this. All I am saying is that I have come for us to put heads together and find a solution to our family problem. You're the one who has a problem. Fix it. Dick. This is an egg. Yes. What am I supposed to do with it? Because they are twins, an egg formed them. That's why they are so identical. Speak whatever you desire into the egg and break it in a Joshua where three rows meet. Leave there immediately without looking back. As the egg split, so shall Peter and Paul split. You mentioned their names. Of course. You know them? <laughs> I am not called the Dejiba for fun. I am called the Dejiba because I am the Dejiba for real. In fact, as I'm talking with you now, they are working towards their reconciliation. Yes. I want that to be cancelled. Then go home. Do as I have instructed. If I do it on your way back home, and don't forget, go home without looking back. Hmm. Now I know why they speak so highly of you. Thank you for everything. When all this is over, I will come and thank you specially. <laughs> thank you so much. Of course, I know you must come. <laughs> you can go. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Should I call Paul and tell him that there's a big problem going on in his compound? But how can I tell him that? Where will be? I'm going to go around, go!
runoffs to say that I am the one who has a problem. You equally have a problem and we need to put heads together to solve it. You see, if I had known this was the reason you called me and wanted to sue me, I would have left for work a long time ago. What are you insinuating? That I shouldn't be here in the first place? Paul, how can you come to my house and tell me you want us to reconcile as brothers? when you have been the one fighting me all the time when I've done nothing to you. Have you not been listening to everyone? What is wrong with you? Everybody is saying that this is not ordinary. This is not ordinary. It is the making of that evil woman our father was supposed to marry before he tilted her for her mother. Don't you get it? <laughs> and what is funny about this very important issue? Oh. Do you know how many women I jilted before I married my wife? What's all this talk about a woman laying a curse because her father jilted? This doesn't make any sense to a scientist like me. And I want to say a very big thank you for convincing Paul to come visit his brother. Yes, dear. My dear, you need to be here to listen to what is coming out of my husband's mouth. Surprisingly, Paul is the one talking reasonably, while my husband is proving so hard to break. You wouldn't believe it. My husband keeps saying that he doesn't believe the revelation from that man. Anyway, my darling, I just believe God is about to open a new page in this family. And I know he will perfect what he has started. Can I call you back, please? Okay, hold on. I couldn't even tell Dr. Clara when I called her that her brother-in-law's compound is in a mess and chaos. How could I have told her that? Oh God, this is not nice. Paul! Since you don't want to be reasonable, I'll take my leave. Oh, sorry. My husband. I know I'm not supposed to be here. But please, I have something very important to share with both of you. After Mr. Otto Kanandu revealed the cause of my childlessness to me, and the cause of the rift between you two, I brought this back home to my husband. But he rejected it. 
I'm sorry, but I had to go all the way to his house to expound this mystery. I went home that very day and confronted my husband with the revelation. Up till today, he has vehemently refused to believe me. Doctor, it is good that you came. I'm going to tell you something that will blow your mind. I want to get to the root of this matter. I will follow it till the end of it. Mr. Bay must not be blamed. He was at the verge of marrying a woman named Philomena. But she didn't realize that they had something to do with deadly cause. Are you? He immediately left the woman and the man the woman that gave birth to the two the twins. Are you serious? The evil woman who has occultic tendencies was the person that killed the man and his wife, which are evil powers. She did not stop at that. Initially, her intention was to kill the twins. But she was especially warned to stay away from the twins because the chief guarding the twins does not show mercy. She discontinued but did not stop. She strapped herself naked in an evil junction in the early night and caused the twin boys. Um, my Pico. What is this curse? The cause is that they will never marry. Should any of them marry, the wife will not conceive. The evil woman invoked a curse on your husband and his twin brother. And that's what they are battling now. I said it! How would anybody convince me that you and I came out from the same world? Oh, stop vomiting your limited knowledge of spiritualism. Everything is not science. Is that supposed to be an insult? You know, something is beginning to click in my head. No, no, Clara, reason with me. How come I have never thought about settling down and getting married. Even when I have a law. With me. You know, it's a wonderful girl. Does everything, takes all my rubbish. I think, I think something is wrong somewhere. How come I have remained static, even seeing that she's a wife material? That, that goes a long way to tell you too that something is wrong somewhere. I have been married to you for the past five years. I haven't been able to conceive. Obviously, you are not impotent. Of course, you know the, the answer to the question. That is my point. We all know that you are potent. Yet, I haven't been able to bear a child. That's why I'm saying that we should find a solution to this problem. Please. You know what? Clara. You will invite that man over. Okay. To your house? You are the one who has a wife. And God is trying to use your wife to bring solution to us. That man must be invited over and there is nothing you can do about it. Hey, 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 hey. If you want to smoke that rubbish, take it out of this house. Okay. I will not let this my love, you need to calm down. You're too uptight. I am calm. No, you are not. You can see I'm calm. Bring the man over. Let me listen to him. Let me hear from him first hand. Maybe, just maybe, I'll hear something I haven't heard before. You sounded very troubled and worried over the phone. What is the problem? Hmm. No, you sounded like it was very urgent. I hope there's no problem. What is it? There is a big problem. Everything is not fine. What happened? Doctor, while Paul was at your house this morning, some bunch of lunatics 
came into this compound shouting, yelling the whole place. A particular girl amongst them, what's her name, Agnes, was just shouting that Paul hired her all through the night and did not pay her. What? Ch -ch -ch oh my goodness. I think just, just when I thought that this family is about to experience some change. Doctor, do you know the funniest part? I was thinking when Paul comes back, he will start yelling at the gate man or myself for seeing such such thing and, and could not do anything about it. But to my greatest surprise, Paul did not yell at me. Rather, he went on his knee, begging that I forgive him. <laughs> no. Stop this joke. I'm serious. Wait a minute. You mean the Paul you and I know knelt down pleading? No, that is not true now. Come on. That's, that's a joke. Do you know he did not just plead? He also asked. He told me that he was ready to change into a man of class and also stop carrying prostitutes. This is so good to hear. I mean, I, I can't even believe what I am hearing. I just pray this comes true for us. I mean the reconciliation dinner. Are you trying to say that the attack launched by, by those prostitute on him might have him change his mind? Exactly. No, I'm not sure. The Paul I saw craves for this reconciliation more than he craves for his problems. That must be a joke. Craves for what reconciliation? Paul? I'm serious. He does. Very much. Ha! My darling, if this happens, I will be the happiest woman on earth. I have been longing for this all my life. Eno, thank you so much. Thank you. You should be thanking me. Oh, I should. You're a very nice person. And I'm hoping we become co-wives. I can't wait. One Calabar and one evil woman in the family. It's going to be fire. <laughs> I hope so too. You mean Paul knelt down and apologized to you? Ah, I was amazed. Hmm. Mr. Okokan, I'm going to repeat what you said to be sure I heard you clearly. My father's only crime was abandoning this woman to marry my mother right now. The woman is a very occultist. Aha, uh -huh. that means she's still alive. Yes, very much alive. You are bringing my father back. Hello. Okay, so I need you to track somebody for me. But before I give you the details of how to get to her, I want you to know that you have my express permission to kill her in the most painful way. Once you... What is it? Why would you end my call? Wait. An evil woman manipulates my family and you want me not to kill her? I will tell her that there is something more than the autism. I am Polo the Enigma. You mean whatever. Mr. Paul, there will be no need for the instruction you were giving. And the only thing you need now is to reconcile as brothers. And then the only thing we give you for a cultic woman. I want to kill her myself. I will not allow you to do that. There must be a, a, you know, a construction dinner. And what else are that? The only thing we give the evil for a woman. And both of you will you know, be free as birds. What, what, what jargon can this man not call you? What, what are you saying? You want me to leave somebody who is after my life to come and finish it up? Yem for Lumoka. This solution is simple. Peace and unity. And then you move on. Who is going to unity and peace? I don't care. Who is going to that story here? Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome. Thank you. And it was uh, the doctor, Dr. Clara. Okay? Yeah. She recommended this pharmacy to me. And she said I should show you the prescription. Can I see the prescription? Oh, yes. Okay, we have a bit of So, here are your clothes. Come on. 
So your money is seven thousand six hundred. Seven thousand six. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It's eight thousand naira. Okay. It's complete. Here is your balance. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very right. much. You. Bye. I honestly cannot believe the extent people would go in doing evil. Our father jilted her, so what? Was she the first woman to be jilted? I'm glad you have started to reason well. That woman must not be allowed to go off. <laughs> Listen, the most important thing here is that you two now relate like brothers. That woman should be the least of our worries. Well, if your husband here says that we should let her go. Let me borrow a line from Mr. Otto Kanando. He says, Reconciling with your brother will kill that evil woman. You need to forgive her. Let her go. Anyways, I'm glad that the reconciliation dinner has been scheduled already. I cannot wait for all of this to blow over. And he says the reconciliation dinner must be held here. Yes, he said so. Well then, in that case, I will organize a mega party and then ask my boys to fly all the girls home. Hey, hey, Mba, 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 <laughs> Paul, no, no, please. This is strictly a family dinner. Let's leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Professor of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Not to worry. By the time all this blows over, I will still take you to the streets. Oh, no, 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 baby. You're the one that needs to be brought back from the streets. You know, you've stayed there way too long that you're desperately in need of the family. Can you throw more light on the rubbish you just said? We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Please face that and leave poor Emma alone. Oh. You now consider yourself poor after all the money you make of me. And you have the mind to preach the scriptures to Paul the Enigma. Oh, please, can we not deviate? Something big is coming into the family. We need to concentrate on that. I am more interested in the fact that you are preaching to me, quoting scriptures. And now, since you and I started living in this house, how many times have you been to church? Oh, simply because she don't allow me to go to church doesn't mean that I don't read my Bibles or pray every day. See, do not, do not just annoy me. Please go and get me food, let me eat. Okay. I'll be able to share my preaching, preaching to me. In the night now, you open it wide. In the morning, you come and sit on my chair and preach to me the scripture. Calm down, make I go come and calm down, yeah. Hey, why Yes, yes, Yeah, yeah, No man, calm down, Okay, No, can be Leave me, I'm gonna make No man, calm down. I go make I wait. No, 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 no,
Have a good thing here. Yes, ma'am. What of the Senak? Yes. Just get those votes oh. for you. Oh, Dr. Gloria. Oh, ma, are you here? Yes, I am here. How is the family? Well, well I thank God we're doing great. Oh, that's very good. Anyway, I came to pick up um, some drugs for the hospital. Okay, ma. Oh. By the way, my darling, I have good news to share with you. Wow. Mm. My husband and his twin brother are planning on reconciling. Really? Can you believe that? After, after so many years. <laughs> you know what? Paul was here some time ago for treatment. Yes. He confided in me that fateful day that someone gave him a cord somewhere in his arms. Cord. Are you sure about what you just said? Yes. But I didn't even explain to him that his twin brother owns this place. I just administered treatment on him and he left. Seriously? Yes. Okay. That's all right. It's okay. Do hmm? um, you still have the cola soda available? Yes. Hmm. Follow the enigma. Your girlfriend is a very good cook. Oh, yes. My babe is a super cook. Can't say that again. So when are you both planning to take this relationship serious? <laughs> of course we are serious. That's why she's living with me in this house. No, 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 no. Oh, st stop laughing. I know the reason I'm asking you. I need an answer. Although the enigma has its way with things, so just leave it at that. Paul, don't tell me you have plans to dump her like the others. You want to jilt her? No, 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 I've not said that. Next thing now, you begin to preach to me, reminding me of how her parents were killed because I've had a jilted a woman. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I haven't taken it there. I just want to know your plans. I want you to tell me what you have in mind with her. Peter, you know the person we are talking about is in this house. Can we not discuss this now?
feel like something just left my body. I feel the same too. I feel, I feel like something left my body. It was some kind of weight. I feel, I feel lighter than like before. Could it be the deliverance Mr. Tokanando talked about? Paul, my brother, Peter, my brother, my blood. How are you? Fine. This is for you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, nice. baby, how is your brother? Have you guys spoken on the phone today? <laughs> you know, since our reconciliation, there is no day that passes that we don't speak up for. Wow. I like that. <laughs> Today we did not just speak on phone, we saw. Mm. Yes, he was at my office earlier. Wow, babe. You know, I like the way you two get along these days. I'm impressed. Thank you. And then he asked me to send his regards. Yeah, that's nice. Well, his wife has been calling too. In fact, she calls every day. What do you two normally discuss on phone? Mm, not really. She just calls to say thank you for playing a part in your reconciliation. That's nice of her. <laughs> Ever since our reconciliation, Peter comes to my office every single day to preach to me to quit the motor park job and start practicing law. Really? Babe, I you've not given it a thought. I'm sorry, babe. Please get me the cigarettes over there. The pack of cigarettes. Mm hmm You just want to use this opportunity to quit what we're saying. Hmm? You can as well smoke when we retire to the bed, baby. But first of all, let's talk about what your brother suggested. Why haven't you been practicing the law you read? I'm not giving you an answer until you get me the pack of cigarettes. Okay, I will. Mm. Your Royal Majesty, sir. <laughs> Baby, hmm? there's nothing there. Check where the cigarette in it. I'm sorry I have not been concentrating to see the good side of you because of the manipulations of that evil woman. You have turned my life around. You've shown me true love. I want to beg you, please, marry me. Don't say no, please. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> getting married. Wow! She has endured a lot because of the love she has for me. I know. <laughs> Eno is the one for me. I know. And you know what? Your brother needs to hear this. I mean, this is good news. Oh, I told him already. I'm serious? Yes. One more thing. I have decided to practice law. Mm -mm. Now that is a joke. You are not serious. I'm serious. I resigned as the chairman of the Union of Road Transport Workers. So I'm glad to announce to you that I'm no longer a tout. 
can't believe all I am here. Oh, congratulations, Edna. Hey, our new wifey, Edna Obang. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing. This is so I need to get a drink. What needs to celebrate this? Oh, uh, let me get something. Please, what, what would you want? What do you want? Anything. Anything is fine. What do you want? We have champagne, brandy, whiskey. Whatever you offer me. I will get it right for you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We are supposed to be on morning shift today. How come you're home at this time? Mia, yeah, are you okay? Mm -mm. I fainted at the hospital today. By God. Right inside the ward. What made you faint? Baby? Mm. <laughs> You're pregnant? Eight weeks gone. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you, God! <laughs> Finally, God has answered our prayers! Yes, He has. I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you for going through the pains of childlessness with me. You know it never bothered me. I told you in God's time it would happen. Mm -mm. If not for the reconciliation, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> oh yes. I love you. Heaven bear me witness. I love you more. Come <laughs> Okay, don't come back. Hey, hey. Oh, they sorry. said I should not stress myself. Sorry, no stress. Let's go inside. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Now I have the baby baby. Whatever it is, you want. <laughs> <laughs> My God! Don't oh. confuse what I feel in a peace with you. Know in my heart that I want to spend my life with you. Don't care what they say, I'm down and I fight for you. Though I'm not ready, but I'm ready for you. I don't want to get what I go hustle for you If not this my life, I go die for you To love you, oh girl, I go love you times two Though I'm not ready, but I'm ready for you Don't want to get what I go hustle for you If not this my life, I go die for you To love you, oh girl, I go love you times two Loving you, girl, who not the best though The small way I get, girl, I go share oh. If not magic, I go manifest oh. Loving you, loving you, loving you, God Loving you, girl, oh, not the best, oh The small way I get, girl, I'm oh, sure If not magic, I go manifest, oh Loving you, girl, loving you, girl I know in my heart what I feel for you Though confused, but I feel in a peace with you Know in my heart that I wanna spend my life what to say I'm down and I fight for you Though I'm not ready but I'm ready for you Though I know I get what I go hustle for you If not this my life I go die for you To love you oh girl I go love you times two Though I'm not ready but I'm ready for you Though I know I get what I go hustle for you If not this my life I go die for you To love you oh girl I go love you times two Loving you, girl, who not the best, though The small way I get, girl, I go share, oh. If not magic, I go manifest, oh. Loving you, loving you, loving you, girl Loving you, girl, who not the best, oh. The small way I get, girl, I go share, oh. If not magic, I go manifest, oh. Loving you, girl, loving you, 